Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today it's the 25th of January, 2024 and the time 1.16 p.m. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. Just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, it is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the videos, when you're supposed to receive the messages. Okay. Messages for Pisces today, please, spirits. You have great fortune, first card of the reading, which is a nice card to start the reading at. Great fortune may have come into your life. Abundance. You may have... Everything in your life at the moment is a great fortune. You know, some people don't have what you have. I like seeing these cards flip, but not always they're going to flip. We've got family room and one more, please, spirits. Mature man. So great fortune, family room. So family room could be someone coming towards you to your house. This could be part of your family, someone that you connect with in your family room. Um, this great fortune could happen in the family room. There could be something that you do in the family room um, that brings in this abundance. Then we've also got mature man. So. Just remember tarot has no gender i feel like this could be you pisces someone that's wise um, mature so someone that i feel may be older take what resonates um even if you aren't older you could just be as i said mature in the mind someone that's wise someone that's learning someone that's also i feel like a teacher a professor to me Okay, on the back of the deck, imprisonment. So this mature man could also be somebody else. As I said, Tarot has no gender. Um, so this could be someone coming towards you. This could be you. But I feel like when I looked at that card, that that's Pisces. Someone that's wise. Someone that's mature. Someone that's looking at something in the corner of their eye. Something's catching your eye while I feel like you're doing something at the moment. We'll grab some tarot out. We're using the spoopy tarot today. I do feel like I connect intuitively with this deck. Messages for Pisces. The Hermit. I did see that card while I was shuffling. Virgo energy. I feel like that's you though, Pisces. You're like this, you know, the mature man on this path. As I said, tarot has no gender, so you don't actually have to be a man. Someone that is in that masculine energy of someone that's fighting for what they want. Someone that is a leader. As I said, people are looking up to you it's like you're teaching something you've got the eight of wands so like journey movement the knight of wands the king of cups The Fool. The Four of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. The Bat, which is the Hanged Man.
the Knight of Pentacles. On the back of the deck, you've got the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Pisces energy. So I feel like that is you, Pisces. There's abundance. You can see this great fortune coming. How exciting. Could be something you've manifested. Something you've dreamed of. What's the hermit? What's the hermit for Pisces today? So you have the King of Wands. So fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. As I said, I feel like you're in a masculine energy, even if you aren't a masculine. But it's someone that's passionate, someone that's fighting for what they want. There's something that you're very attracted to, let's see. And I feel like it's something to do with this hermit path. So the hermit follows the star. So the star, I feel like, is a wish fulfillment in your life, something that you've been manifesting whether that be love, whether that be something in the material world, as everyone's story is different, not everybody is, you know, wanting success, not everyone's wanting love, you've got strength, and then you've got the five of cups. So there's something from your past that you're in regret over, something that was lost, something that was spilt. There's sadness about this one cup spilling, but just knowing that there's still four cups standing here on this card. And with this card, with the four cups standing, it reminds me, obviously, of the four of cups. Uh, so missing an opportunity, I feel like Divine is telling you with that five of cups to come out, to have that strength to move forward. So there's something that is keeping you down. You may be in solitude at the moment with the hermit coming out. But you're in this masculine energy and you need to make a decision to follow this path, um, your path. And I feel like you're going to do that because we do have movement here with the Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands for Pisces? So you have the Nine of Swords. Get that card, Pisces. Oh my goodness. The Three of Swords. So there was heartbreak, there was an ending, there could have been a three party situation, and then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So there's some type of work being taken. I feel with the Nine of Swords coming out, there's something that you're in your head about. So there's still healing, I feel, in the past over a situation. Your heart is broken. Something happened in your past. But I feel like you are pushing forward with the Eight of Wands coming out. You're not letting this heartbreak hold you down. What's the Knight of Wands? So you've got the Queen of Swords. So much movement in this top row here, Pisces. And you're running really, really, really quickly into this abundance, I feel. Something that I feel with with that vase or whatever she is has there um she's pouring out um it also reminds me of Aquarius energy so the star the water pourer someone that's a balancer someone that's trying to um you know let go of control you've got the page of cups there is flowers coming out. So there's like a transformation. Something's transformed. This could be something in the material world that's, you know, advanced. So as I said, you're moving really, really quickly on this top line here towards this abundance in your life. And I feel like it's something to do with money, something in the material world. But there's 
like there's a jump there might be a money advance with this we've got the page of cups coming out so there's good news coming i feel something unexpected coming towards the queen of swords um this could also be a person coming towards you we do have the knight of wands coming in so someone wants to say something to you i feel knight of wands fire energy leo aries sagittarius someone that's coming in with something that they need to say that I feel is really like in their mind they need to like let out and be free um, as I said this could be an ex with the queen of swords but I feel like you are someone that has been through a lot but yes I feel like this could be someone that is an ex someone that could have air in their chart Gemini Libra Aquarius with the tower coming out, Aries energy, that could be in this person's chart too. It doesn't have to be, but there's something I feel. This person isn't happy. With this tower coming out, I also feel this is going to be something that is a shock to you. Someone coming in with some type of communication and, and good news, but it's it's unexpected. You know, there's travel there. So this is something you cannot control. You know, towers get knocked down because they aren't built on steady foundation. So something could be getting knocked down um, to start anew. This person could come in and out of your life. They don't have to, but this is someone wanting to say something to you. You know, it doesn't say anything that it's about love or anything like that. So it's like there's someone wanting to come in and tell you something. It is good news, though. That's the thing. So don't think of it as a bad thing. What's the King of Cups? What's this King of Cups for Pisces spirits? Got the Queen of Wands. So I felt like this King of Cups is another energy, someone that holds a lot of love for you, could have water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone that's holding their emotions back, I feel. You got the Six of Cups, so this is someone that's looking at the memories. This person could have involved someone that has, um, sorry, someone that is a third party but i feel like this person looks at you like someone that is a fighter you could have fire in your chart and then we've got the ace of cups so there was a completion with this person they could live at a distance with the clown coming out on this king of cups this person could have been a bit of a clown um, feels like a bit of a clown coming into the situation and wanting to start new again we've got the fool coming out what is the fool for pisces we've got the three of pentacles the seven of pentacles so the three and seven is ten of pentacles then you've got the four of wands look at that someone and then you got the nine of wands on the back of the deck. So someone that's in wounded warrior energy, someone that is wanting to fight for this, someone that there could have been some type of arguments with this person, but this person's coming in feeling broken. They could have Aries in their chart of, or Aquarius. Aquarius is coming out to me. Um, I also feel with the fool, there's a ghost on there. So this person could have ghosted you. There's like a ghost coming back. A ghost coming back to start a new beginning, a zero, someone that wants commitment. But as I said, there's been progress, sorry, with you and this person with the Seven of Pentacles coming out. This person is sitting in contemplation energy, I feel, in the current energy. You know, they do want to come in and give you a new beginning. They do want marriage if they aren't already married to you. But as I said, the three plus seven equals ten. Someone that wants you know, a blended family, someone that wants to share things, you know, become everything together and build things together. What's the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups for Pisces? Got the Emperor. The Nine of Cups. 
So this person, as I said, has a lot of love for you. The Emperor Aries energy, more Aries coming out. Someone that I feel is a leader. This is someone, though, I feel that, yeah, could be younger than you. Someone that wants to come in with communication. Someone that wants to start a new beginning. They may want to come in and give you something. But I feel like they are looking at you like a wish fulfillment. I feel like in the past, they realized that they've missed an opportunity. And this is in the current energy. This person could have been celebrating. This person could have had a three-party situation that has been coming out. This person's choosing you, though. They're making that decision, you know, in the current energy right now. Okay, so we've got future energy here for Pisces. You've got the Two of Pentacles, the Bat, which is the Hanged Man, and the Knight of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles? You've got the Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like in the future you're gonna have to make a decision of whether you want to keep holding on to this or letting it go and you've got the four of swords because i feel like you have healed from the situation i feel like at the moment you feel stable you could feel at peace this person could be spying on you this person has some type of codependency i feel like this is you also but i also feel like you know that you need to focus on yourself at the moment you are trying to manifest in what you want in life and i feel like you know you're going to hold back on that situation but you know, with the Two of Pentacles energy, it's like this juggling, juggling on a decision. Then we've got the bat coming out. So someone looking at something from a different point of view. What's the bat? Got the Page of Cups. The Eight of Swords. And the Three of Cups. The Bat, Pisces energy. Now, I really feel like this is you, Pisces, with the Bat coming out. Because this is Pisces energy. I feel like when you make that decision in the future to let go of something in your life that I feel there could be um, an obsession with. You know, it doesn't actually have to be a person. There's something that you're making a decision on, on, on this juggling, you know, on choosing to let something go and focus on something else. But we've got the bat coming out. So looking at something as in a different point of view, this is you. You're making that decision, looking at something from a different point of view. I feel with the eight of swords coming out, this is a hard decision for you to make. But there's something like I feel you're going to celebrate in the future because you're doing this. Uh, because you are learning lessons, I feel like you are looking at things more logically now. And, you know, sitting in bat energy also, looking at this from a different point of view from what you were before. Uh, learning the lessons. What is the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? You're the Three of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. Something slowly coming in. This could be something that you're working on. 
I feel now you've turned your back. I feel in the future you're going to really focus on this new path of yours. There could have been things that you were doing, more than one thing that you were juggling. And I feel like you're letting go of that. You're releasing that and focusing on something, something else, this other thing. And it is going to lead you to victory. We've got the Six of Wands coming out. So... Like this is a rebirth of yourself. There was an ending, but this is a new beginning. Something is coming in and it's going to come in slowly with that Knight of Pentacles, one of the slowest moving Knights of the Tarot deck. The slowest, actually. So I feel like there's a lot of work to be done, but you may be trying to manifest something big and big things take time. You know, things aren't just going to happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day all the other sayings that come with it but you know you just need to keep going experience so overall message of the reading you've got the ten of pentacles and the high priestess and i feel like that high priestess is you i feel intuitively you know this is all coming to you you know what you need to focus on you're connected to divine you listen to divine I feel you're a worker of divine. You've got the five of wands. The four of wands. And the king of cups. So you could have a blended family. I feel you could be, you know, have family all around you. As I said, you know, everything around you right now, at the beginning of the reading, I said everything around you right now, you have, it's, you know, it is a great fortune. You have the abundance around you right now. Everything you need, the people you need, you know, everyone that is there is there for you that is around you right now in this very moment. You know, that is your happiness. That is your abundance. You do have your abundance. There is someone in your energy. You could be married to this person. There could be conflict. But I also feel this person loves you a lot. You could be married. You could have children with this person. They could have water in their chart. There's someone that I feel you're connecting with, that you're putting things together with, and you could be making a family, making a home, making that that abundance that you want, the, um, the thing that you're manifesting in life. But it's going to lead, um, I feel, to sub celebration. If you just focus on these things, go with the flow of life, as we've got that high priestess, she goes with the flow of life. Um, so I feel that's what Divine's telling you to be, you know, grateful for everything you have right now uh, because everything you have right now is everything you, that you need okay so what's the high priestess what's the high priestess but there's someone that i feel you're focused on this person is wanting commitment with you may have commitment with you there could be some conflict but i feel together you're working together to make you know a happy home What's the High Priestess? And this is leading you to everything you want. You got the Tower. So there's something unexpected coming in. As I said, this is the overall message of the reading. Something's unexpected coming towards you. With the Knight coming out, that's the Moon. Pisces, Cancer Energy. Something on your path is... I feel there could be another lesson coming in or something that, like a test. You know what I mean? Something's hidden. And with the night or the moon card, um, there's two dogs on it too. Um, one domesticated, one that's wild. So I feel like, you know, there could be some type of challenge that's going to be coming in your face soon. And you got the ten of wands. Something that you're holding on to. Something that you're holding on to is, I feel, going to crumble. The 
This could be with someone that has Pisces or Cancer in their chart with the Knight coming out or Aries. But I feel like there's something crumbling down, I feel, when you let go of this burden. You know, along your path, this is part of that lesson you need to let go of. You need to let go of something and focus on the now. Okay. Pisces, let's do a fortune telling card for you. While fortune is waiting to come to you, you may lose it just through carelessness. So as I said, divine needs you to let go of something. Something you need to let go of to let this new abundance and everything that you're manifesting come through the door. Do a music message for the collective. One card for Pisces. Land of a Thousand Dances, Wilson Pickett. So Divine may want you to dance. I feel dancing uh, connects you to Divine. Uh, dancing can bring answers, also meditation, grounding, connecting with yourself, connecting with your ancestors, um, I feel is what you need to do. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, uh, there will be a playlist for Pisces. I thank you all for being here, uh, liking, subscribing, sharing your energy. Thank you so much um, every day for being here. I love checking the energy for the collective for Pisces. I am a Pisces. Um, but yes, I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Um, much love and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.